high level, the world level, when you start wrestling people from overseas and stuff, they know USA as hand fighters. We're going to come at you. And some of the best guys in the world wrestle somebody from the United States, and they, they can't breathe. Like, man, this dude just keeps coming. Right? So they start in their stance, they start pulling on their head, right, moving them and stuff, directing the dance, and you start to see this. You start to see this. You start to stand up a little bit more. They don't want to be bent over the back, starting to hurt. And then for me, this whole area is a playground. And right? then I go to work. That's where you start getting the tech falls. You wonder why people put other guys away real fast? <coughs> Tire mount, go to work. Tire mount, go to work. All right, so we're going to work on uh, something that I have uh, really focused on this, this season. All right, so again, in a good stance, right, I crowd the guy until I get inside control. Boom, here. All right, and again, I'm just moving them, moving them here, moving them, and then what I'm going to do is We'll pull on his head here, just a little bit. Pull, right? And then I'm waiting for that, that opportunity to hit that, that high C. All right, so when I hit this high C, notice how my legs, my legs are, are locked and loaded here, like a gun, ready to fire. All right, but what I want to focus on is get to this toe, stepping through my shot. So if I penetrate here, watch this. I don't even touch him. I don't even touch him. It's not a good shot. You can always tell a good shot Whenever you hit it, if the guy has to take a step back, right? You see what I was talking about earlier about having your back straight? I, I pulled, I got to the leg, and then pulled myself into it. I penetrated to the leg here. Boom. All right? So there's a couple variations you can hit this move, this high C from, from hand fighting. You have one where you're inside control, and you, you basically go here to a post. Boom. Right, this hand stays up. Oh. Here, I'm posting, pull, post. Head high, driving through him. Another one that I like to do is I, I freeze the guy. I go here, freeze, shoot, drive through him. Right, get him in one piece where his, his legs are locked out. There's no sprawling from here. If you do sprawl, I don't, I mean, my body doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> Right. So, for for guys who are, are beginners, I want you to work on in here moving them inside control, locked and loaded. I want you to work on this post. Now, watch this post here. I want to get I want to get um, above the elbow. If I'm here below the elbow, he's going to drop his elbow. I'm not posting anything. So whenever I do this, even if you can get higher in here, I'm pulling myself into the shot. Pulling myself into the shot. So I want you to practice on moving them. Boom. I don't even have to be ear to ear or forehead to forehead. I can move from here. Boom. Pull a little bit here, set them up. Post. Okay. Drive through them. Or if you feel a little bit more skilled, Working on moving the guy, and then this is where our foot fake comes in. Hit a foot fake, freeze him. Go. All right. So right here, this is important. I'll slow this down for you. <clears throat> As I get to the shot, I penetrate. Boom. I, I know he hates it. This ear that I have right here is uh, it's solid. It's rock solid. <laughs> so whenever I I go to drive through them, it's like a dagger. <laughs> right there in a the little sensitive spot. Cow flyer, I know you guys don't want it, but it works in your favor sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm deep. See, I'm deep here. One thing I'm doing is trading off. Trading off, stepping up. <clears throat> Hit the shot again, freeze a boom. Here, I'm going from being back here. The trading off. There's no girls in here, is there? Nope. All right. Think in this position, pecker to knee. All right. If I'm out here, 
This is hard, hard position. He's going to sprawl, push my hand down. Okay, come back up. I stay pecker to me. I don't even need this hand yet. Just try to stroll. Right? Now this guy's going over my back. Here, now I'm switching off. My head's going to look across his back. My head's going to look across his back. And then watch this foot as it steps up. All right? How many of you guys in here sword fight with your little brothers or something? Everybody's done it. Sticks. You can't sword, sword fight like this with your foot turned. Why? You're going to trip. I point my toe to where I'm going. Same thing when I hit this double. When I trade off my double here. Step in, boom. Back's high, or back's uh, straight. Heads up. Stepping, boom. All right? This is where you get to where you see the guys State tournament, we flare the legs, they run through a guy, throw him. It's easy, sorry. When I run my feet, it's not even all arms. I get his momentum going, this part comes easy. All right, so back to the shot. I want you guys to just move, go slow, start off really slow. Slow dance. All right, junior high, slow dance, right here. Boom, push. Move them, just feel the opportunities. Right, I pull on his head. If I'm, if I'm um, hitting this post, so stepping, boom, driving through the guy. All right, if I'm here and I'm moving him, hit that fake, boom, <coughs> driving through him. You see how I don't hesitate? I don't do this in sections. I don't go. <coughs> no, it's not all back. It's here. I'm driving through, I'm using my leg. <laughs> Alright, let's play with it. One, two, three. 